What's up everybody? Joe White here. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I mean a long time. And it has to do with modern YouTubers. I myself am a YouTuber. I'm not a prominent, popular YouTuber. I mean, you see how many subscribers I have. Which, if you're finding me for the first time, thank you. Please hit the subscribe button. Help me out. But the one thing I've always been is transparent. The one thing I've always done is if there's something that I want to say, I say it. Regardless of really the consequences. Um, you know, I follow Mid Midnight's Edge and, and Nerd Roddick. Gary over Neurotic, he's a good guy. Gary and Neurotic got me turned on to this guy from Geeks and Gamers. And I was watching his channel for the last two weeks, ever since Game of Thrones, three weeks, ever since the whole Game of Thrones Season 8 thing debacle started. And this guy is fucking scared. This guy is a scared pussy. I'm sorry, dude. I don't remember your name. It's not that important to me. You know, but golly, man. Every video, he's got the baseball cap on backwards, and he's got the polo shirt, and he's like, yeah, dude, blah, 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 blah. Typical millennial, okay? So this is a guy who goes, and he's done this. It's not the first video. He said this every, every single Game of Thrones video that this cat has done on this Geeks and Gamers YouTube channel. He has stated the following. I've read spoilers. But I'm not going to give the spoilers out. Because YouTube will take my video down. And HBO will copyright claim my little video. And it has me wondering. This is not the first person that does it. I won't show a clip of such and such. Because YouTube will copyright strike me. And, and tell me and take the video down. And I won't make any money. Who does that remind you of? Solomon. I see you, Solomon. You're still out there, aren't you? Anyway. I mean, you know, when did YouTubers turn into a bunch of pussies? For real. When did they turn into such pussies? They claim that we're going to fight the system. The only way to the only way to bring you in, or the only way to fight the man is to, to stand up for ourselves. But when you have a chance to stand up for yourselves, you know, YouTube will, YouTube will take my video down if I post spoilers. So I'm just going to show a screen cap up here of the Reddit, and I'll leave you guys to go to Reddit. The Free Folk Reddit. Read the spoilers, the sacred spoilers. When did you guys turn into a bunch of pussies? Say the fucking spoilers. Hey, spoiler, potential spoiler alert. Bram, Bran, Bran Stark, the little fucker in the wheelchair, he's probably going to end up on the Iron Throne as a result of a committee. Yes, Game of Thrones has turned into WCW from 1997. Or 99. Or 2000. God, that company was fucked up. But you got, you know... You know, oh, and, and Cersei and Jamie are going to die in each other's arms. And the Hound is going to kill the Mountain. There's your spoilers, HBO. There's your spoilers, Game of Thrones fans. There's your spoilers, geeks and gamers who won't talk. I can't mention it. I'll just say that if what happens is going to happen... If this is spoilers, oh my god, the internet's going to be so upset. And I even put on Twitter, they're not going to be upset, they're going to be riots. If Bran Stark ends up on the goddamn Iron Throne, oh, oh another spoiler alert, here we go, John kills Daenerys. There's another spoiler, potential spoiler. How do you like me now, geeks and gamers? How do you like me now, Gary for Neurotic? How do you like me now, YouTube and HBO? I gave away a 
Pressure spoilers. Oh. You know, it, it used to be when I, you know, I tried to become one of you. I tried to become one of you YouTubers who did this as a job. I tried to, and I didn't. I'm, I'm just not that good at it, okay? So I had to resort to, you know, getting a, getting a real job. Getting a real job. Rolling down the highways and byways and interstates 10 hours a day. Delivering your little freight to you in your distribution centers. Remember, if you bought it, a truck brought it. So I decided, hey, this YouTube is, is, is getting not the thing for me. I can't get the subscribers that I need. Which is my fault. That's not a thing against Sarah, guys. I'm just not good enough at it. Oh well. And then I sat there and I looked at I'm looking back on it, I'm glad I didn't become one of you because holy fuck. Holy fuck! I would not want to be one of a YouTuber right now. You guys are a bunch of assholes and pussies who can't even discuss the spoilers because HBO will get them after me. And they'll take my channel down. Dude. And whatever your name is from Geeks and Gamers, you don't look like a YouTuber. You look like a guy who is at the McDonald's asking me if I would like fries with that. Okay? And yes, I love McDonald's. I'll go with the fat jokes. There we go. Take your ammo right there from me. My God. YouTube used to be... And it's not just, you know... And I get it. You know, you're making money. You don't want to have to go get a real job. You'd rather sit on your ass and play games all day and make videos all day. I get it. You millennial pricks. Gary from Nerdrotic even admits he had a real job owned a comic book store before the YouTube thing, you know, before he got lucky in YouTube. It makes me wonder if these people like a Joe Cronin or like a Geeks and Gamers have ever had real jobs. That PewDiePie fucker. Has he ever had a real job? Does he know what it's like to put in 8 to 12 hours worth of hard work every day? No, we, we, we just worry about copyright claims and HBO and the man, the man, the corporation's coming after him. So I'm kind of glad I haven't become one of you because God damn it, I would be such a pussy. God damn, man, it, it just fucking, it's, I, I, it's pissing me off, it really does piss me off, and Geeks and Gamers, it's not a big, huge rant to you, because I do like most of your content, but like, fuckers like RGT85, and Spawnwave Media, and that completionist guy, you know, it makes me wonder, these guys have never had a real job, and the Nostalgia Critic, who has come over a lot of heat in the last two years because of the whole change to channel debacle, actually posted a video on his YouTube of him walking into work, standing up on a chair in what looked like the break room, with the words, I quit, spray painted across his bare fucking chest, and he, he quit in style. Because he finally green inched and clawed and made his way long enough without Patreon, without t-shirt sales and all this shit to actually make a living off of it. He did it the good, hard way. He had to work a 9 to 5 and still come out with content. But that's lost now. That's fucking lost now. You fuckers wouldn't know what a goddamn job is if it fucking jumped up and bit you in the goddamn millennial ass. That tender foot ass of yours. Motherfuckers. And it's not just me being jealous. It's not. I could care fucking less if this this video gets me, you know, gets me subscribers, loses me subscribers. I'm just stating on the car on the, you know, and, and you can only blame YouTube so much. Did you really think, you know, did you really think YouTube was going to be like Napster? Or, or like LimeWire, or Kazaa, where we could just post whatever the fuck we want. No, those all got shut down too. Why? It's the law. People own IP. People own music rights. People want their share of the pie. Just like you guys want your fair share of the pie. Of the video content you create. But here's a newsflash. 
YouTube ain't got to pay you a goddamn thing for your shit. I've said this before. YouTube can always say in their little fine print, upon uploading this video, you agree to the terms that it is now our property without any compensation being owed to you. They can always do that. You could, they could do that tomorrow and nobody would get anything. And oh, by the way, when they do that, they're also going to say, you can't link your Patreon, you can't mention your Patreon, you can't do links. It's their fucking shit. And if you don't like the way they're doing it, if you don't like the way Google operates, go to somewhere else. Go to Twitch. Oh, Twitch is now owned by the almighty Amazon. It's just a matter of time before they come part of the machine, too. Come on, guys. It's the fucking world we live in. Do I necessarily agree with it? No. But to sit there, you act like you're so fucking entitled to some money. Because you're posting on their platform. Give me a fucking break. Then you want to bitch and piss and moan. Because HBO is going to sit there and go, We don't want our fucking shit spoiled because it's going to cost us views. So hey, how about you stop it? I'm surprised Disney didn't do it to all the people posting potential Avengers spoilers for the last two years. So you might want to sit there and think twice next time you think you're entitled to something or next time you want to bitch about HBO taking your video down. Oh, wait, you're too much of a pussy to even create said video for them to take down. God, YouTubers just... You act like a bunch of entitled bitches. That's all you do. You're not entitled to shit. Because like I said, the day's going to come where fucking Google is going to say, we've had enough of this shit. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to pay you a goddamn dime for anything. The studios will get whatever ad revenue money. If you include their content, students and studios will get the ad revenue mo money from it. But we're not going to pay you shit because we're going to put in the fine print that... Upon uploading a video, it now becomes property of Google and, and no way is compensation to be paid to the user or to the creator. Because guess what? You're too goddamn broke to go out and copyright every little thing you fucking do produce. You can't do that because you can't... You, 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 people will go bankrupt trying to do it. And Google knows it. And if you keep bitching about it... And they, they had this content creator summer, summit that Angry Joe went to where he asked the question, he addresses the elephant in the room, and he got the corporate BS answer. He got the corporate BS answer. And then he wants to bitch about the said corporate BS answer. You're dealing with a corporation. You're dealing with 50 and 60 year old fat cats that don't care about you. And guess what? When the day comes and you hit 50 and 60 years old, if you're in that position, you're going to think the same way. So don't sit there and act like it's just an old people thing, because it's not. Anyway, folks, if you see a big rig on the road, give us some room. Do not tailgate us. If you can't see our mirrors, we can't see you. We'll see you.